Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today we'll be going to watch Cardiff versus Man City in the Premier League. Uh, what can we say about this match? We lost 4-1 to Chelsea last week. Really, we're just going to have to put up a good fight against this one. Whether we win, who knows. Hopefully we can get a draw out of this, but it's very unlikely and the pundits aren't giving us a good time either. So, so once again, I am being joined by... <laughs> the Bluebird Legend. Of course, subscribe to his channel, link in the description. It is awful outside, the weather absolutely tipping it down. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Um, I don't know, they stepped in my head. Oh, beautiful. So currently 16 for Believe in the Table, is that right? Seven. So currently 17 from the table, two points. Not a good goal difference. We need, we could, we should be able to score today. Not too sure. Uh, not sure if Murphy's back in the side either. Uh, just let's fingers crossed we can get something out of this game. What do you think? Well, it's going to be very, very difficult. But the rain today has been atrocious, so that might be a bit of a level. I will, you know, the ball slip off the pitch, or will it get get held up? I think if it does get held up, that might be better for Cardiff in a way to stop the Manchester City uh, passing game. We shall see. It's going to be difficult. The players are going to have to give their all. We, if we can get ahead, then you never know. But this Manchester City team, you know, they lost in midweek. So whether they're going to roar back into life, you know, Pep might have them right up for this match. Looking at last season, remember we played them in the FA Cup. So there might be a little bit of uh, feistiness, you could say, in the match. But yeah, certainly looking forward to it. And hopefully it'll be a good game. And Cardiff put a... Uh, on a good performance for the fans. We also have to remember that uh, Mendy and De Bruyne are out injured as well. Yeah, Mendy and De Bruyne for Cardiff as well. Probably Ward and Reed starting again up front. Would like to see that as well. I What's don't your... think Zahor will be starting today. No. I think Warnock might start him against Burnley to be honest, but who knows? Anyway, what's your score prediction going to be? Well, I've said in the predictions video it'll be 2-1 to Car um, and Manchester yeah. City. I'm going to stick with that for now, but I really want a Cardiff win today. I think we could potentially get a draw in this match if the players work for it, but we're going to absolutely get soaking wet. It is, the weather is atrocious. It's going to be fun in the stands. I might not get much footage, and if I don't, then I'm sorry. I, I want to protect my camera from water damage because the lens, because the quality of the camera is just atrocious in the rain. But let's hope I can get a good, a good, decent video out of this. Come on, City. Okay, so um, the Cardiff team news has just been announced, but quite a few of the players have been dropped. For example, Bamba dropped. Uh, Bennett dropped. Is he, Warlock did say that he was going to. Uh, he was going to. He was going to drop anyone who makes mistakes. But anyway, team news as it, as it goes. Effridge and goal. Back four: Peltier, Morrison, Manga, and Cunningham. Quite surprised to see Manga in central defence. I mean. Um, RAC is normal in midfield, that hasn't changed there. Uh, Bobby Reed and Danny Ward up front, as well as Zoe Junior Hoyler on the wing, forgot to mention him. Uh, but Josh Murphy's back in the side, which is good news. medine has been dropped. Uh, still no Alex Smithies as well. Um, but I think Warnock set, up, set us up to lose this match. I don't, th I don't think he's expecting to get anything out of it. But anyway, what do you think? Uh, no, a little bit surprising. Then again, maybe not. Uh, Warnock did say that anyone making more than one mistake is, you know, there, there may be changes in the team. But um, it's a bit of a kind of a free hit this game anyway. So good to see Cunningham getting his first start of the season, although he did play I think, against Norwich yeah, in the Carabao Norwich. Cup. Um, yeah, Peltier back in the side after a few weeks absence as well. Manga moving into the central defence, his more natural position. Um, good to see Josh Murphy on the bench. Hopefully Cardiff are going to play five in midfield rather than having Ward and uh, Reed up front because uh, we're going to have to get the ball somehow. But uh, yeah, looking forward to the game. Hopefully the rain will ease off, because, but it's still looking terrible out there. Yes, yeah, you in the ground, I suppose. <laughs>
we've had a shot yet. Man City have held the ball, we've been giving it to them. Yeah, Danny Ward had a bit of a chance. To win, yeah, but yeah. Well, obviously we've got to keep this up now. Oh, oh. What was that defending? That was absolutely atrocious. They let Guerra through, allowed him to ping into the bottom corner. What are you doing? What are you doing in defence? What have I just witnessed? Okay, so that's the uh, end of the half, about time. One word, dreadful. Honestly, the linesman, he needs to go to spec savers. That was like, awful. Just like, he's possibly the blindest referee I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, I, 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 I just don't get it. Oh, just, what do you think? I think they can be. I think Cardiff are playing, playing Manchester City way too much respect. The fans need to get behind the team. The team needs to show some passion. Perhaps we can get a goal back. But 1-0 uh, down, I thought we need to raise it a bit and then we'll get back in this game. But it's 3-0 now and uh, yeah, good night. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we, we're, 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 just, we're just finished. Can't see us getting no. better. <laughs> like, we, could, we could come back 4-3, but I can't see it happen with the way we're playing. Just... The linesman needs to stop making stupid mistakes like that and then maybe we will be in with a chance of at least scoring. I'd say get Bamber on and then and a few others, possibly a ball, get a bit of strength up front and then we'll be fine. So. It looks like uh, Palsy is going off on the stretcher, I think he's uh, ripped his shoulder out, it didn't look good. But I think we're not probably going to pull on Bamber now if uh, they have to take him off like this. But. It's not looking good at all today. I'm just surprised about this one. Um, he's actually brought Richards on instead. I don't, I don't know why I would have put Bamber on and moved Manger over, but Warlock must have a plan. That's just so good work. Second stuff for Cardiff. Off comes Danny Ward. And on comes Kenneth support. Like I predicted earlier, he needs, he needs to make an effect in this match, otherwise, we are finished. Once again, what were we doing? It's now 4 0. Well, what can we say about that monstrosity? That was awful. Uh, that's probably the worst Cardiff performance I've probably seen since maybe 2011, 2012, or 2010, possibly. But it's the worst I've seen in a long time. That's, that's all I can say. But what was your thoughts? Oh yeah, Manchester City are a very, very, very good side. But uh, yeah, I think we paid them way too much respect if we had got into them in the first half. Then uh, it could have been a different story, really. 1-0 down, we, we, we looked okay with silly mistakes from the back. Maybe three changes from last week in the defence wasn't really uh, the best idea. However, I think it's uh, looking to the future rather than these games against the top so-called six clubs you could say that's where i think i've said before our this season is going to be defined we got burnley next week is you know much more important yeah. than today's match really so uh yeah forget about this match now learn from it move on and hopefully we'll beat burnley next sunday what about the uh oh, what about the added time as well the added time well i i, I don't know 
it was already four five it was already five nil at that point so you can't really moan about that yeah but, but at the same time you at the same time yeah yeah you, you uh, can't do that Peltier yeah, was down for at least four or five minutes down injured I don't know what he had oxygen he was stretched off and everything and there were other stoppages throughout the second half not many but there were a lot more than three minutes anyway but definitely need a trip to spec but savers if, if you've only got a moment about that you know I, I'm not too bothered about that added time really so. yeah but there we are but yeah on to next week I think yeah on to next week we can't play like this anymore yeah we've got to have some belief I don't think we, as we said, paid too, them too much respect. We really got to believe that we can beat these teams. I think the build-up throughout the week should have been whipping up, the, you know, the the population of Cardiff into a frenzy. Really, saying we we can beat the likes of Manchester City. I didn't see any of that. We need some more belief, really, rather than say, oh yeah, you know, they're a good team, the, the opposition. So uh, yeah. yeah, we massive game next next Sunday biggest game of the season so far and as normal tonight we'll probably see all those people on match of the day having having a pop at Cardiff saying that we're rubbish well we did lose 5-0 we did, so. we did lose 5-0 <laughs> to be fair we were, we were we were we were awful but we we could we should get a bit you of, have to say that Man yeah. City are a very very good team though so How, however we don't really warrant some of the criticism that we do get oh no no but anyway, let's just move on to next week. We've got Burnley next week. I don't know how they got on, but... They were leading 2-0 at half-time. Which so. is not a good sign. But anyway, if you just enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. First ever video seen by me, then please hit that subscribe button for more good videos. Turn on the bell as well, so you can keep up to date with any uploads I do. Good news, though, FIFA 19 is coming out at the end of the week. Going to plan in a lot of videos for that as well. Uh, any suggestions for that in the description, as always. Probably going to do... Uh, a couple of games on the new house rules, uh, probably a, a couple of seasons matches, and possibly a pack opening there and then as well. But anyway, let's move on to next week, and I will see you all in the next video. Hoyle Val.